You, uh, what, what did you do? With this? And you started in the late 90s. I mean, what, what, what did you do uh, in all that time? Bef after I... Before the Historical Society. Oh, before the Historical Society. Uh, well, I ha owned a men's store for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, of course, we had the business, and you had to help with that, too, okay. our sure. family business. So, yeah. so you started in the Historical Society, and then what did you do here at the museum and all, the, all, the that, museum. all those years? Yeah. Well, the big thing is getting the guides lined up for from May 1st to November 1st. Um, and schedule them. We're open Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, and then Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 4. So you have to get people who are available to work for those shifts, for three-hour shifts. And uh, and then, of course, you have to keep up with, make sure the furnace is running and uh, plumbing is turned off for the winter and <laughs> stuff like that, and that you don't have any accidents. We've had water and we've had, you know, there have been accidents. Every house has those things. So, so and tell me a little bit about also um, um, Mrs. Dyer and how you got and all of that. Uh, well, uh, uh, Mrs. Thayer was always Mrs. Dyer, and she wrote up the little script for it. And then she'd wear one of these hats, and uh, then she'd dress up as Mrs. Dyer before tea, and she'd give us a, a little uh, synopsis of her life. And uh, so that was kind of interesting. So, yeah. And then eventually you took on that role yeah, as well? Yeah, when she passed away, I took it on, yeah. Uh, 